Hi, loves. Um, I feel like I'm being a little bit dodgy because Caleb's sleeping just right next to me and um, I don't want to wake him, but I really want to send this now because the next few days for me are going to be heating up and I'll have less and less time to um, post for you until I get into Doha. And um, I've had a few conversations with different ones of different ladies, different <laughs> a few of you, oh my goodness, from the course. I'm actually at a wedding at the moment. Um, about um, messaging and dating apps and that kind of thing. And, and I think it's really relevant to speak to you. I actually um, had the thought today that I might do a... Uh, I'm writing a couple of workshops. Um, one of them is going to be... Um, is about vulnerability and trust, which you got girls are learning anyway, but you might want to come to that just as an addition. But I think I'm going to run a, um, a dating an app and SMS for dating masterclass, which I've done once in the past and it was really quite helpful. It's an area where so many of us just get really fucking confused and the confusion is the same with everyone. It really is. Um, there's that really fine line between over saying or over messaging and not messaging enough that point where, and we all know it, that point where um, he hasn't gotten back to you and you wonder if you should say something or not and you all know the answer. So everyone I talk to, it's always the same question. You know, he hasn't gotten back to me and I just want to say this to him. And the only reason any of my women ever say it to me is because they know that probably they shouldn't. And I want to talk to that um, a little bit. I think it's really important because... Um, so often what happens is if he doesn't get back to us, then we say we say a few things. We'll often send a couple of messages and they can be, you know, kind of, um, they can be dressed up in different ways. I'm sorry, I can't see if anyone's watching me or not because um, the ring light is so bright. But it can be dressed up in different ways. But ultimately we have these little they're like these little catches or these little like lines that we throw out hoping to get a response from him and we dress it up in different ways to make it look like or feel like to us we try and kid ourselves to think that oh we're not trying to bait him we're just trying to say something you know we're just trying to, I'm just saying this because I need to you know I'm just saying that I oh, look you know I just need to know what's happening or I'm just saying that you know oh I saw this movie and I thought you might like it or you know just these little things but really every time we do it the only thing we're looking for is fit to get a response back from him. I'm talking about when we haven't gotten a response from him. So here's the thing. If he doesn't get back to you, yes, it's possible that he didn't get that message. That's possible. It's highly unlikely, um, but it's possible. So let's say worst case scenario, you send another one and he doesn't get back to you again. He's not getting back to you. And maybe, maybe he's busy, maybe he's sick, whatever it is, all the excuses it's highly, highly unlikely that that's the reason he hasn't gotten back to you. And if that is the reason he hasn't gotten back to you, then he will eventually get back to you. If he's into you, he's not going to forget to message you. So I'm at my father-in-law's wedding and I heard the story about them tonight, which is really interesting. They went on their first date to this Thai restaurant and he thought it went really well. And he was really into her. And he said, oh, so would you like to do this again? She said, no, I don't think so. And he was flabbergasted and, was, you know, thought that was a bit odd. Anyway, so then, you know, at the end of the night, and he was walking into the car and he said, are you sure you wouldn't like to do this again? And she said, mm, no, I don't think so. Anyway, then she couldn't find her car. So he drove her around and helped her find the car. And then she was about to get out. And he thought, I'm going to try one more time. And he said, you know, are you really sure you don't want to do this again? She said, no, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay, and he was really sad. Anyway, it turns out she left her bloody phone in his car. So she somehow contacted him and, and said, I need to come and pick it up. And he said, no, 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 I'll bring it to you. And the reason he did that is because he thought, well, if I go there, then I'm in control of how long I can stay. And so he did, and he tried one more time. And this time she said, sure, let's give it a go. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you this story is because if a man's into you, he's not going to you know, forget to message you back. He's just not. It's not going to, you know, like slip his mind. Um, could it be that 
you, you know, it's not that important to him and so he hasn't thought about it much and therefore if you message him, he might say, yeah, actually, yeah, you're really cool, let's get together. Yeah, that's possible. But is that the guy you want to be with? The guy that you're not that important to? No, it's not. And the reason for that is, well, lots of reasons, but one of those, one of the reasons is that you don't want to be cultivating a relationship with a man where you are in the masculine polarity, the directive polarity, the directive energy, the, the productive make it happen energy because then he's going to be compelled into his feminine or to go into battle with you. So you'll have a great sex for a little while but it'll never go anywhere or you'll end up becoming unattracted to him. So you just don't want it to go there. Um, so yeah, if he's not getting back to you, he's not getting back to you. Hi, Laura. <laughs> I'm just talking about um, SMSing or messaging on phone or dating apps and how this is asked of me so many times, um, not just in this program with different women, but all the time. And um, I just wanted to speak to that here. So I'm just saying, if he doesn't get back to you, it's because he's not that into you. And could you message him? Yeah, you could. And you're stepping into the masculine and he's going to respond by going into his feminine or you're going to have a great time in that battlefield together. It might be sexy for a while when you're both in your masculine, but it's never, ever going to go to that place that you want it to go to. So yeah, just don't kid yourself. Well, you are kidding yourself if you're trying to find that, you know, like reason to message him. There's no reason. Now, the other end of it is that you can message him or we sometimes want to message him to say, you know what, you're not responding. I'm not interested anymore. See you later. Now that as well, I personally recommend not to do that. The only reason we need to do that is to make ourselves feel like we've proven to him that we don't need him. And in some ways, more often than not, it's also another bait it's there is a part of us that's doing that to get him to say, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, that was really awful of me. I, I really am into you. Um, and But what we want to do instead is leave the gap. Now, we haven't spoken yet about the gap um, in the course. We will get there. But the gap is that place where we express how we feel or we feel how we feel and then we leave an open space for him to respond or not respond. So... Um, let's translate that. The gap is where we have a feeling and we don't do anything to cover it up or to um, create a way for him to make it better or change it. So we need to leave that gap. So if he hasn't gotten back to you, he hasn't gotten back to you. And you might have the thought, well, maybe he, you know, he's gotten busy. Maybe he has. So just leave it. And if he gets unbusy, then he'll message you and then you can respond however you want to respond. Don't You don't need to say, hey, I'm still here because then you're stepping into your masculine and you're also uh, saying that you're willing to receive less than being worthy. But in the same breath, you don't need to say, well, that you're not good enough for me. See you later. I don't want to talk to you anymore because then you're closing the door on that vulnerability. Stay open, stay vulnerable. If he gets back to you, then you might say, you know what? You missed a chance. I'm not interested anymore. But yeah, let's let's really leave that open space of vulnerability. And it's another reason why circular dating is so important, which means just, you know, dating lots of people or chatting to lots of people all at one time, because then we're not putting all our eggs in one basket, so to speak. Um, yeah, and um, I will keep you posted. Actually, give me an idea. Let me um, give me some feedback and tell me who would be interested in attending a, um, a masterclass on SMSing and messaging for dating apps and, and, um, and you know, SMSing for dating um, because there's some really interesting and um, powerful psychology to, to know around that and also some little kind of, um, oh, what are they called, little kind of tricks of the trade for that you can kind of fall back on when you're in a tricky situation with SMSing and on um, phones and dating apps. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. A couple of you I haven't heard from yet. Um, there's just I think it's just two of you. So make sure you get in touch with me and tell me what's going on. Uh, love you all. Bye. Good night. Night, Laura.